A recent survey by Bankrate, conducted in January 2022, shows that 56% of Americans are not able to afford an unexpected expense of $1,000 with their savings. If you find yourself under this unfortunate group, there are practical tips you can follow to grow your savings, not just quickly, but exponentially. Here are eight money-saving tips to save more money fast. Number eight, invest in high-quality appliances that will last. Avoid purchasing appliances that are too cheap as they tend to require more maintenance and replacement than good quality items. Instead of shelling out money for pricey repairs or replacements, it is worth spending a little bit more on buying the product. Look for a brand that has a reputation for being reliable and cost-effective. Do some research before purchasing a new appliance. A durable and energy-saving washing machine may cost quite a bit up front, but since it constantly saves you energy and can last years longer than a cheaper version, you'll end up saving a lot of money overall. Number 7. Save electricity by going green. Considering how much time we spend at home, it is important to assess our electricity usage. Even the simplest measures can lower utility costs while benefiting the environment. Instead of heating or cooling the entire house, limit it in the room you are using. Adjust your windows and blinds to help regulate the temperature inside. When using the air condition, keep the temperature to 25 degrees Celsius or better yet, use the fan instead. When doing laundry, run your washer with a full load and try to use cold water instead of hot. Go for energy-saving devices and lighting. Replace your light bulbs to LED ones. Not only can LED bulbs last 15 to 25 times longer, they are also 70 to 80% more energy efficient. Turn off your devices when they are not in use and don't forget to unplug whenever possible. Number 6. Learn to do it yourself. Make use of online resources such as DIY courses and video tutorials to rack up significant savings. It has never been easier to learn almost any skill today, thanks to the power of YouTube and the internet at large. Whether it's leaking pipes or the zipper on your dress, it's always cheaper to fix these on your own rather than paying for someone else's service or replacing them entirely. You can even skip the beauty salon by learning how to style your hair and do your own makeup when you have celebrations to attend. This alone will save you hundreds of dollars. Number 5. Don't buy a brand new car. Owning a car, especially when you have kids, can make more sense than taking the public transport. But the trick is, don't purchase a new one. Americans are able to save roughly $14,000 when buying a three-year-old car instead of a brand new. For example, a car that would cost you $30,000 when new would only cost around $16,000 just after three years of ownership. But make sure you don't go for a scrap one too as it may need frequent costly repairs. Before buying a second-hand car, find out its fuel consumption rate and if there were any recent repairs. Be careful and examine it for rust and weaknesses. Make sure to test drive it for any faults. All these precautions will reduce the cost of running a used car. Number 4. Go green with your diet. How often do you find yourself eating carbohydrates and meat while skipping the vegetables altogether? Eating your greens can drastically improve your health as they are good sources of fiber and a wide range of vitamins and minerals. Research shows that these nutrients lower your chances of developing chronic illnesses like diabetes and heart diseases. Opting for a high vegetable diet can also lower your food and grocery bills, as vegetables are much cheaper than meat. You'll need to deprive yourself of your favorite meat dish, but try to incorporate more greens in your diet. If you think vegetables are boring, try out different recipes such as roasting, pan fry cooking, and making vegetable salads. To further reduce your food bill, buy what's in season. An effective way to do this is to find what's on promotion. Usually, prices are being lowered when there is plenty of supply. For example, some days asparagus are cheap while other days broccolis are on discounts. Another thing to keep in mind is to only buy what you need. Avoid unnecessary food wastage by considering the right amount, freshness, and shelf life of the products you buy. Number 3. Limit your social media consumption. 
Whether it's the food you're craving or the latest gadget you're looking to purchase, your social media knows about it. This is because it constantly picks up data through your history searches, likes and dislikes, and other personal information you freely provide. Nothing is coincidence with the ads that are on your browse feed. You are highly targeted and lured to spend on items you don't need. And before you know it, you're already above your credit limit. Many people fall into the fear of missing out mentality because of the fake representation of others' lives on social media. Everyone is trying to compete on who is living the better life. There is a false validation whenever people get tons of likes and comments on their posts. This is why they are willing to part with their budgets just to be on trend. While there are positive sides to social media, like connecting with your loved ones and finding leads to your business, you should not let it ruin your finances. If you find that certain posts trigger insecurities in you, get rid of them once and for all. Unfollow people who don't contribute to your well-being. Some people even go to extreme lengths of deleting their accounts or uninstalling their social media apps and testify that it was the best decision of their life. But if you are like most people who cannot imagine life without Instagram or TikTok, try to keep a balance between your usage and overall productivity. Prioritize things that promote self-growth and financial health. Instead of using social media to satisfy your ego, Use it to increase your knowledge and find opportunities for professional growth. Number 2. Negotiate to lower interest rates on your credit card According to Bankrate, Americans with unpaid balances on their credit cards are paying an average annual percentage rate of 17.96%. Some credit card companies charge even higher depending on a few factors, including your credit score. If you're paying exorbitant interest on your credit card, it's vital to know that you do have some power to negotiate for a lower rate. You can begin by calling your credit card company. If you have multiple credit cards, prioritize the one you've held the longest. You are likely to succeed if you can show your history of making on-time payments and a good credit score. Let the issuer know your purpose for negotiation. This will be your personal reason such as facing unemployment, a medical emergency, or just wanting to establish credit by paying off your debt quickly. Show competitive offers from other credit card issuers. Let your issuer know that there are other credit card companies giving you competitive offers for lower interest rates. They might just give you a good deal once they realize you are about to leave. Don't take no for an answer. If the customer service agent refuses to give you a lower rate, be patient and try another time so that another representative will be able to assist you. An even better alternative is to directly speak with a supervisor. Express your desire to continue being their loyal customer, despite many offers from other reputable companies. Before getting into number one, kindly hit the subscribe button so you never miss out on future videos. With that said, here is number one. Eliminate impulse spending. Spending money is now more convenient than ever. Thanks to online shopping, credit card payments, and buy now pay later schemes. According to a recent survey by SlickDeals.net, 73% of adults claim that most of their spending tend to be on impulse. And on average, consumers spend $314 a month on these spontaneous buys. This is further fueled by our shopping habits post-pandemic and the heavy social media presence in our lives. One effective way to overcome this is through the 30-day rule. It is designed to shift your mindset from spending to saving. If you see something you like online or in a retail shop, take a pause and leave. Give yourself a month to think about it, then decide. Weigh in on how much your money could grow in your savings or investment account. Revisit the item after 30 days. Most often than not, you will find that the urge is no longer there. Or sometimes, you will have forgotten about the item already. Make sure to check out the next video as you will surely get a ton of value from it. Thanks and see you again!